Infusoria is the first live food given to very small fry like better or guppy babies that are too tiny to eat baby brine shrimp or powdered food. Now, how to culture Infusoria? We will need these items, guys. First, a glass tank to culture Infusoria and a plastic cup to scoop water. The first step to create Infusoria is to take water directly from your fish tank. Here, I'll use the water from the tank where I keep my guppies and scoop one cup to pour into this glass tank. Now I'll start creating infusoria. Prepare a cucumber, then slice it thinly with a knife like this. Remember to slice the cucumber as thin as possible, the thinner, the better. You'll need about 10 slices. Now put these cucumber slices into the tank, spread them out evenly, then cover tightly and place in a shady spot with some light. This one has been soaking for today. Already today, you can see the cucumber slices are starting to soften. Because they're decomposing, the water looks very cloudy. But there's still no infusoria yet. It's just starting to decompose. When the cucumber fully decomposes, that's when you'll see lots of infusoria. Today, it's been for days already. Now, I'll use a flashlight. At this point, we can clearly see the infusoria. Even though it's only day four, you can already see infusoria forming. But the cucumber slices are still floating on the surface, so the water still smells bad. So we shouldn't feed the fry with infusoria at this time. We need to wait a few more days until the cucumber slices sink to the bottom. At that time, we can collect the infusoria to feed the fry safely. Yes, guys, this is my infusoria tank after five days. You can see the cucumber slices have now decomposed and sunk to the bottom. That means they've fully decomposed and today you can clearly see a lot of infusoria. There are so, so many and incredible emu. Now we can take them out to feed the fish fry. You can use a spoon scoop some and drop it in for the fry to eat. And when you see the water getting clearer and the amount of infusoria decreasing, just add a few more cucumber slices and the infusoria will reproduce again. This video is short and simple to guide you on how to culture infusoria to feed your fry. I'll end this video here. Thank you all for watching my video. See you all in the next clips. Goodbye.